the switcher element displays a tab navigation which transitions through content slides. Each item has three text fields – title, meta and content, an image field as well as a link with its text fields. Additionally, there is a field for a navigation label and the navigation thumbnail. The thumbnail is used for the thumbnail navigation. Now let's take a look at the element settings. First of all, you can choose one of the different switcher animations. For example, I have selected a fade animation. If you have slides with a different height, you can expand all slides to the same height. This will prevent them from jumping when switching between slides. The switcher element has various navigation options. You can add a tap, subnav or a thumbnav navigation to navigate to the previous and next slides. Mind that the pill and the divider styles are only available for horizontal subnavs. For example, here I have a subnav navigation and a pill navigation. You can also select the position and the alignment of the navigation in regards to the content. If aligned to the left or right, the navigation column width can be the same size as its items, a fixed width or percentage. Additionally, define the grid gaps and set the breakpoint from which the navigation stacks. If you have selected a thumbnail navigation, you can set the width and the height for the thumbnail image and define whether thumbnails wrap into multiple lines if the container is too small. Optionally, you can select a different image for the thumbnail. SVG images can be injected into the page markup and further styled with CSS. For example, you can choose an SVG color. Just like the navigation, the switcher item image can be aligned in regards to the content. So you can position the image at the top, bottom, left or right. Again, if aligned to the left or right, the image column width can be the same size as the image, a fixed width or percentage. And additionally, you can define the grid gaps and set the breakpoint from which the image stacks. Of course, the switcher element has much more other settings. But since options for the different content fields are very similar across all elements, they are described in the corresponding headline, text, image, and button element documentation.